What's going on? Welcome to Green Thumb's Kitchen. Today we're making uh, dilly carrots, but we're not just making regular dilly carrots. This video today is just for my viewers. So instead of just doing carrots and dill and some vinegar brine, we're going to be doing multiple kinds of carrots. Uh, just trying to show you guys that you don't have to be limited to just, you know, throwing some dill and some vinegar and some carrots in a jar. We're going to be doing some pretty awesome stuff today. So uh, I'll show you what we got going on. You ready? All right. So uh, what I need you to do before we start, I need you to go over to this little corner right over there and hit that notification bell and the subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, click that. Got it? Ready? Here we go. All right. So to start off, show you guys. Oh, hang on. Let me clear some of this up here. There we go. Don't need that right now. That's a for after thing. All right, we've got fresh dill, fresh onions out of my garden, coriander seeds, and Mexican dar bowl hot peppers. Look at the size of these things. They're like the, about the size of a 22. They're not super hot, but they definitely have some heat. And we're gonna be making different combinations of dilly carrots using all of these different ingredients. We've got all of our jars ready. We've got two water bath canners. That's my Presto and that's my big pot. We have the lids and water. I haven't turned that on yet. We're just not at that stage yet. And then back here, we have our brine going. And in there is 13 and a half cups of 5% vinegar, nine cups of water, and nine teaspoons of salt. That's pink Himalayan rock salt, if you're wondering why it's a little cloudy and a little bit pink. Good? Good. All right. So, let's put this back down. Sorry, guys. So, all these jars just got washed. Upside down, they're drying. So, what we're going to do is turn that brine on so it starts warming up. Brian's warming up. Water's starting to heat up in both pots. And we're just going to, all right. We're just gonna start flipping these upside down, getting them ready. I don't care what other channels say. I've got the best subscribers in the whole planet. I love you guys. So I figured we'd kind of go all out with these carrots today. Show you guys some love. The way you guys show me love and help me keep this channel rolling, even though YouTube constantly tries to crush my channel. And uh, we carry forward. So the plan here, we're gonna take some coriander. I'm gonna throw some in some of these jars. So if you guys haven't used coriander, it's the seeds from cilantro. Kind of has a bit of a lemony taste to it. It's really nice. You can also roast it in a pan and it'll bring out the flavors more. They do that a lot in Indian cooking, but we're not doing that today. All right, so we have five of them with coriander. We're gonna do, let's say, a coriander and onion. And then some without coriander in it. I'll just throw some onion in here, like that. Bam, just like that. Then we'll do, let's say, a coriander and a couple of hot peppers, and some onion and some hot peppers. And we'll just start loading dill into these things. A couple of sprigs of dill in the bottom of each one. And I'm going to admit, this is not my dill. This is store-bought dill. My dill this year did not do so well, unfortunately. So I actually had to go to the store today and pick some up. Imagine that, eh? Having to buy dill of all things. So we're just going to start putting dill in all of these jars. 
couple of sprigs in each. Now normally, I prefer to use dill seed, but I have to wait for the dill that I have still growing to uh, finish up so I can rip the seeds out of it. So we're just not there in the garden yet, but we're close. Look at that. Those are looking good already, huh? Put the dill in all the bottoms of these, fellas. I'm a big dill fan. Stuff's awesome. So I've decided next year I'm probably going to grow like 50 dill plants so this doesn't happen again. And that way at the end of the season, what I haven't used in my canning recipes, I'll just run through the dehydrator and then I'll have, uh, I'll have some extra dill. Let's see. So we're literally just going to top up ones that need it. Need some. That one? Sure. Okay. How's that looking so far? Pretty good? Excellent. And maybe we will just do one that's just going to be plain old spicy. Good. Get rid of that. And that, and that. Don't need these anymore. Clean up as you go sort of situation, right? Okay, I'm gonna turn on the lids, get them just starting to warm up. And then we need this massive bowl of carrots. I don't even know if I have space on here for that. Of course I don't. Let's rearrange this a little bit. There we go. Okay. Look at the size of that bowl of carrots. So it works out to, from the recipe I was looking at, you need roughly three quarters of a pound of peeled carrots per pint. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna uh, pause this video, drain the water off, and uh, stuff some of these jars with carrots. We'll be back in a second. So we've got them all filled. I was looking pretty nice, eh, with all the different rainbow carrots and stuff. Now what we're gonna do is right Right over there, I've got a pot full of brine. We're just going to start topping them up. The big pot you can see, oh, you can't see, right there in the corner of the frame. That one's boiling like mad, and my Presto canner is almost out of rolling boil. So, I'm just going to take a measuring, can, a measuring cup, and we're just going to start topping these up. And we want one inch of headspace. So, just gonna work our way through. Okay, so you guys can see, I'm just gonna work my way through there. I'll be back in a second. So, we got them all topped up. We've got one inch of headspace. Next thing we're gonna do, get some vinegar in a bowl, get a little paper towel or a cloth, and we're gonna wipe down the tops of every one of these. We're doing that for a couple of reasons. One, when you're doing that, you're gonna feel if there's any cracks or chips or anything in the top. And the other reason is because we put salt in here, right? We, uh, we wanna make sure that we have a nice clean surface. Sorry. We have a nice clean surface for those lids to sit on. Because if they don't get a good seal, then the jars aren't going to seal properly in the canner. And then you're going to have to put a whole bunch of these in your fridge, which 
might not necessarily a bad, be a bad issue, but you know, still better safe than sorry. So we'll give them all a quick wipe. Done, done, don't need that. Don't need that. And then we're gonna take our lids. Now you're also gonna wanna attempt to debubble these with this fella but I've packed these in so tight that it's gonna be a little hard. Same when I did the uh, canned carrots the other day. It was pretty hard to get that debubbler down in there. But you're probably gonna find a couple of bubbles anyhow, so we're gonna work our way through. I'm gonna do these and I'm gonna put some lids on. All right, so we got all the lids on, finger tight. So remember when you're putting your lids on, as soon as your fingers start to kind of twist on themselves, that's as tight as you want it. All right, and now into the counter they go. And these are, here we go. Don't bang them on the sides of your canner or you might end up with shattered jars and that would be a waste. So each one of these canners is gonna hold nine of these jars and we're gonna get them all in. And you want at least an inch of water over the top of your jars. So what I do when I'm filling these canners is I take an empty pint jar and I just use hot water right out of the tap, right to start. And I put one of these jars with no lid on it inside the pot and I fill it up to just about the top of the jar. And that way I know that once I get this thing filled, due to the amount of volume that's going in there, that they're going to be at least a good inch over top of the jars. Check that out. And then that'll come up to boil pretty quick in a minute because everything in there was already hot. So we're gonna do the same with the other one. Whoa, whoa. Get the tripod off your foot, Sean. Good job. All right, I'm going to load these up. Don't you just love this part of the show? I do. Time's up on the first pot. I'm just going to start pulling them. And I bet you these are going to taste even better in a couple of weeks from now when the flavors have had a bit more chance to, to merge, you know? Lovely. So my timer went off and stopped the video. So we're just going to carry on. All right. There's the first pot right there. We're going to pull the second one. We go.
Man, those look good. Get out of the way. Two more. Off, 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 and off. What do you think, guys? How's that look? Let's bring that camera down for a bit of a close-up. What do you say? Drop that down. Real-time video editing. Here we go. Look at that. This is how we do this. Oh yeah. What do you think? I think that looks fantastic. There. All 18 done. And that took start to finish. What time is it? Three o'clock. I started this at uh, about 11 o'clock, so that's, um, and that's also, guys, I had to peel more carrots as well, so we're at, uh, 15 pounds of carrots to do all of this, um, because when I was jarring them up, I didn't have enough, even though, uh, according to the measurements, I should have, so that's 15 pounds of carrots, 18 pints, so, Right from the very start um, until now, that's four hours to pull them out. I'd say that's time well invested. What do you guys think? All right, well, I'm going to let these cool down. And uh, I'm going to listen to those lids start to pop because they should start popping any minute. And I'm going to suck some of the water off the top with a cloth, actually. Oh, they're starting. I love that sound. That's like music. Oh. Suck all that up. Yay for microfiber cloths. So like I said, instead of just making regular carrots, Regular dilly carrots. I did uh, lots of different kinds this time. I did that all for you guys just to show you guys the same kind of love that you guys show me on my channel. It's the least I could do for you. And I really hope you guys decide that you're going to uh, make some of these for yourselves. You know, and then like I said, you guys saw the, the nice thing is, is with these, you guys can just put whatever kinds of toppings or whatever kind of flavorings you want in the bottom. You can even put sugar in the recipe. I didn't really want to um, because I only use brown sugar in the house. Actually, I don't use brown sugar. I use, um, what's it called? Demerara sugar, which is a, a really raw product type sugar. So I really didn't want to go that route. Um, cause I wasn't really looking for sweeter type carrots. So these should be pretty vinegary, which is all right. Oh, they're popping. So that's it guys. So I appreciate it. If you guys, uh, hit that subscription button and or that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave me a comment in there. And cause I have, I have more carrots on the floor. So maybe you guys have an idea of what I can make with, I've got a probably about another 10 pounds of carrots on the floor uh, in a bin from the garden. So if you guys have suggestions on what I could make with the rest of those carrots, I'd love to hear it. And uh, hit that thumbs up. And don't forget, guys, grow good food and keep stacking it to the rafters. I love y'all. Have a great day. See ya.